Miss Carl, Miss Carl Steen, is this you? This is me, Doctor James, calling hold, in. Hold on. We have our delivery courier expert, Mr. Sonny. Yes, there's always a story. The question is, are you giving him the glory? Hey. <laughs> we have our jury expert, Miss Carl Steen. How you doing, Miss Carl Steen? Doing great, Dr. James. How's everyone? Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we have our expert fashion expert here, Miss Helen. How you doing, Miss Helen? All is well. Great, great, great. That's what hey. I'm talking about. Let's get this jam packed show started talk here. About yeah. fashion. Let's talk to All Miss right. let's let's talk about Miss Helen right now. Miss Helen, uh first time on TV. One, are you excited? Very excited. Very excited. That's what I'm talking about. So are you ready? I'm ready. Now, how do you know you're ready? Mm. Because oh. I am ready. If you Made stay ready, you mind. ain't never got to get ready. <laughs> That's Come right. on now, that is part of my motto. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So let's talk about your journey. Um, tell us about what you do. Um, what I do, I am a seamstress. I make fashions. Um, I do designs. I can even teach you how to sew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so I sew for the public, have been sewing for the public for about 15, 20 years. Um, I've established my business so far in my home. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So what inspired you to get started? I was inspired by my mother. It's a gift and a talent. Um, yes, my is. mother taught me that's my talent. My gift is when I do the designs, I are myself. Really? I'm like, oh, uh -huh. I did that. Wow. You know, so I feel that that's a talent. That's awesome. Uh, um, a gift. Yes. Um, but my mother started out sewing. My grandmother sewed. They both, you know, taught me. My mother taught me, basically, uh, just as a little girl. And she began showing me how to put small things together, uh, turning belt straps, putting a lasket in the waist of bands. Uh, and I was just probably about seven years old, wow. eight. And as I grew older, became a teenager, 10, 11, 
uh, preteen, she uh, let me have Barbie dolls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hope I'm not telling my age, but nevertheless. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's talk That's about Miss awesome. Helen. <laughs> Who are you? Um, Helen Ray Clewis. I'm a mother of three, awesome. grandmother of five. I'm a Dallas Independent School bus driver. Okay. Um, I have been married, amen, praise God, and it was good, but <laughs> <laughs> somebody didn't want to go any further, so oh well, life goes on. Amen. Drop Drop the baton. The thank you, thank you. <laughs> I did my best. Oh, oh. Tried to hang. Every lesson is a blessing. Oh, yes. Thank so, God for that. So what makes you special? Because I am unique. There is no other person named Helen Denise Ray Clewis. Okay. Say it again. Say it. again. Say it. Never to be found on this earth mm. or anywhere else. Mm. She's the greatest of all time. Come I on love now. It. Mm. I love Nobody it. Nobody can do it better. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get ready to shift shift gears here. And I know that Miss Carol has some questions for me. Oh, yeah, I do, Dr. James. Uh, we're going to talk about paintless dent repair. Mm -hmm. And my first question is going to be, how can you help a person waiting to get into paintless dent repair? Okay, so, uh, and keep in mind, this is not just for guys, because I know a woman may say, well, this must be for guys. No, I've met two people uh, in my life that are women that do paintless dent repair. So it's just another skill. So if anyone wants to learn how to do that, uh, I have courses to teach you how to do paintless dent repair, to go take dents out of cars, whether you're a man or a woman. There's just another skill that can't be taken away. Okay. So, yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long does it take to learn this dent repair? Okay, so... Um, I like to say uh, everybody's different, but this course can take about three months to six months. So it depends on the person. If they're learning fast enough, uh, they'll, they'll pretty much get it in three months, and then they would need, um, what you call that word, uh, they would need mentoring for the next six months to make sure, because painless is different than body work. You can mess up on body work and start over. If you mess up with paintless dent repair, there's no starting over. You have to, it turns into body work now. Mm. So painless, you have to know what you're doing. Uh, so it's about six months to a year worth of mentoring uh, and watching you do it and making sure you're doing it right before you can do it on your own. Because if you go on your own and you go do a car lot or you go do a person's car and you turn a little dent that should have been fixed into a chopped up body work job, <laughs> <laughs> that car lot is not going to use you again. No. <laughs> So I yeah, it. I just wanted to wow. answer that when you were talking about the, that mentoring uh, utilized. I see that uh, I believe with the mentoring, it should continue to be on because it give that person that you that came out of the training a vote of confidence. Absolutely. So when they're still in, in the process, they can still have those. Oh, I did that. You know, I mean, it, it builds up when, when a person has confidence. Uh, I'm not tend to get cocky, but. Uh, you, you, you feel, you have that assurance that, hey, I know what I'm doing. Right. right. And, you, and mm -hmm. you, when, when you come into a process of who, business, customer, whatnot, mm -hmm. you can give them that assurance, hey, I, I've been doing this 10 years. Mm -hmm. I've been through mentoring and whatnot. So it gives that customer right. assurance to come back and do repetitious business. And so I right. know that Miss uh, Carol wanted to ask me some questions about carpet steam cleaning, but we're going to talk about that right after this commercial break. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Dr. James, host of Dr. James McConnell's The Small Business Network. Broadcasting live each week on Saturday at 1 p.m. from Fishbowl Radio Network Studios at Globe Life Park in Arlington, Texas. Log on to hear us talk about and feature small businesses and the life of a small business, the struggles, the triumphs, the daily operation, the grind of starting and running a small business. So be sure to log on each week on Saturday at 1 p.m. to catch Dr. James McConnell's The Small Business Network. Let's jump in. Hello. Dr. James here from founder and CEO of MBC Enterprises. If you want to use our investment team, just let us know. You can use us to help you get into your own business. 
users to get into any kind of real estate, get you a company car uh, for your projects, your inventions, whatever you need. Uh, you can use our investment team to help you get started. We want to know how? Let us know. Phone number is 469-765-5327. And again, use our investment team for anything that you think you need investing in, especially businesses and more. You let us know. Phone number 469-765-5327. We're looking forward for your phone call and for your dreams of getting started. Have a great day. System down, tried so hard to keep you out. I went crazy by myself, crying a lot of own anxiety. It keeps me on the edge, close to jumping off this ledge. I see purple to clear my head since you've been gone. They tear my system down Try so hard to keep you out I went crazy by myself Trying alone Spaced out Staring at the ceiling Talking to my demons That's for a reason why I feel the way I'm feeling If I'm the one who cheated on the sex without no meaning I like to keep a heart safe for my style beat Now I try so hard to stay medicated So I don't have to face the wrong I've done I take these ideas They turn my system down Try so hard to keep you out I win Crazy by myself, crying a lot of anxiety. Yeah. It keeps me on the edge, close to jumping off this ledge. I sit back to clear my head since you've been gone. Designed this, they tear my system down. Try so hard to keep you out. I by myself, crying alone, anxiety, it keeps me on the edge, close to jumping off this ledge, I sit far to clear my head, since you've been gone. So I don't have to face the wrong I've done to you. They make me any such a my system. Any such Any such Love that song. Love that song. We are back. Arlington, Texas, Globe Life Park. Dr. James McConnell's The Small Business Network. I know Miss uh, Carol had some questions about carpet steam cleaning. Let's talk about it, Miss Carol. Yes, Dr. James, another one of your expertise of yours because she's wearing many, many, many hat. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what's mm -hmm. the best way to start this steam cleaning business? Okay, so the best way would be to go get you a nice solid steam cleaner and not an industrial one that's going to cost you thousands. No, you go get you a good Bissell steam cleaner that's going to cost you about $400 and that lasts. Trust me, it lasts and then you can go get you some of those hand made ones that's about another 200 that looks like a vacuum cleaner but it's a steam cleaner. You get a couple of those so now so now you spend about $800 on 
three steam cleaners, and now all you got to go do is go go and get to work. Just go talk to different hotels and this blah blah blah. You know, last year I steam cleaned 147 rooms, and so I have like mm -hmm. five steam. See, one, two, three, four. Five. I have five steam cleaners. So obviously my kids have me. I hired two people, mm -hmm. and it was good. Now, of course, I had to, to go work with them, so <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't just say y'all go do the work. No, oh, I couldn't do that. Absolutely. But you know, I had, had to go make sure. So that's that's pretty much how you start that. It's a okay. It's a I think you also way. told us about uh, what equipment do you need. I think you've talked, you've touched on that. I, I think I already, did. But right. if you want to expound, I know that Miss uh, okay. Bridget wanted to touch on that. Uh, no, I was going to say there's so many different ways you can make money. That's why money is a current. It's right. currency. It's always moving. Right. But I had a carpet cleaning business too. I actually used Kirby's. Okay. But you know, Kirby's two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars though, yeah. But what I did was I just went to Craigslist mm -hmm. and I found people that were selling them and I just bought like a hundred dollar ones. Okay. And they okay. was trying to get rid of them and you might be missing some parts or whatever. Right. So I buy two or three of them and put all the parts together. Okay. And then My we just did. <laughs> Oh man, that's like, awesome. Yeah. yeah. That is so you want to make awesome. some money? I got some. Well, like, between me and Dr. James, we got plenty of ways for you to just plenty, make some money. Plenty, plenty. <laughs> Oh, okay, that sounds good. We're going to talk about computer repair, Dr. James. Uh, how do you get students ready for that business? Okay, so uh, it's, it's, it's a main core thing. Like, I do a lot of work on it with software. Hardware is a little bit different, but software is where I pretty much go. And so if you know how to clean up a computer, fix a couple of viruses, then you can start a business. And to teach you that is really not hard. Uh, and so once you, you know, once you learn how to do that, it's just pretty much uh, uh, once I show you how to do it, how to understand what's what and how to fix it and what software to maybe even install to fix the problem, then that's what you do. So it's really not that hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Dr. Jane, you got a lot of residual <laughs> income coming in. Oh, wow. That is awesome. I, I try to. Hey, so what's, I know that's right. So what's the best way for, uh, to market that business? So the best way, obviously, is uh, every platform, just like I always say, if you're going to be social media, then you just want to post it one time or two. Then you want to go into groups uh, that's talking about computer repair. You know, most people don't even think about stuff like they just post, 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 not understanding how this works. Yeah. You know, there's a, uh, there's a lady that um, wanted to sell more of her seamstress work not really seamstress, but certain work in seamstress. Fashions. And Fashions. so she, she, she said that she was getting people online maybe once every few months. And so I said, well, just let me show you something. So I went to certain groups. And you got to go to certain groups. You can't just go to, uh, you know. I went to uh, about seven different groups that I thought would really look for her stuff. And she told me she got five or six customers that day and has been overwhelmed with mm -hmm. about seven to ten a week yep. ever since. And she's like, man, I can't even keep up with it. Mm -hmm. So that's online, that's the best way. And then obviously you put it in a newspaper, ad here and there, and you talk to people, you pass out cards. You know, all those things are pretty much worth it if you want it to move and if you want it to be a machine. Now, if you want to get the business once every few months, then keep doing it however you're doing it. But if you want to turn it into a consistent money, you got to do every way, but doing it accurately. Mm. Cool. cool, that's awesome. Miss Carol. I know you got quite yes, a few books that you've been working on. Let's talk about it. Your audio books on audible.com. Oh. Mm -hmm. What are the names of all your audio books and tell us briefly about each one of them. Okay, thank you, Miss Brittany. I missed you so much. I just want to put that out there in the end. Oh, it's so, going to um, be missed. <laughs> Hallelujah. I missed y'all too. It's been a while. I feel like I ain't been here in about a month. But... Oh, wow. Well, I haven't seen thing. you guys in a while. So, uh, first of all, uh, all of my books are on uh, audible.com and on amazon.com. And the first book that I'm going to talk about briefly, just give, give everybody a brief of what the book is about, it's, it's still, it's soft cover and Kindle also, but uh, it's just um, audible. You can listen to it, you can download it on Kindle, your computer, or laptop. The first book will be The Lack of a Damaged Person. Basically, this book is about, it's just an example to others, how you start out like, we always talk about this transition of a butterfly and everything that he goes through through the uh, cartoon, uh, 
my tongue is tied, cocoon and develop into a mature, beautiful butterfly. Mm -hmm. This process can be challenging in our lives. And even though, you know, we talk about the COVID-19, a lot of us have went through so many trials and tribulations through the Mm COVID-19. And I suggest that this book is just a book of poetry that breaks it down. Mm -hmm. The second book is Spiritual Warfare and Salvation in the Word. It's just like it sounds. It's an encourager to all readers. All of my books, are based upon encouragement and uplifting and we just need some positive things in this world in this negative world and everything ain't negative but it's the way that you perceive the world that it is today and the the third book is um it had to be love i wrote this book around valentine's day just to give valentine lovers and everything just a little onction of real love about just a brief uh information of what's in the book it talks about love is an action an effort and conscious decision to show up in a relationship a hundred percent i ain't talking about no 50 50 70 30 or 60 40 i'm talking about a hundred percent on both sides of the fence Mm -hmm. if two people are giving their 100 percent you shouldn't have no problem in the relationship but there will be some problems it's how you go about dealing with it okay and love is not and it's not an emotion it's a choice, okay? All right, we're going to the next one. The fourth book, 60-Day Challenge, The Pathway to the Day of li- to daily Living, just the way it sounds. It's just here to encourage you and motivate you along your journey, and you just journal in it. Okay, the fifth book, we all know about justice for all equality. Mm-hmm. And I wrote this book around when there was the shooting, the looting, the killing, and all the things around May 20th in New Jersey, uh, Philadelphia, Oklahoma, Minnesota, New York, Atlanta, Washington. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, y'all remember, in Dallas, Texas, mm-hmm. we had a shooting, yep. okay, a major shooting, okay? We all know about it. Basically, this book is just to a uh, brief history of our ancestors. That's all it is. It talks about how we go back, and uh, it's not the beginning. Just because we're hearing about this, it's been around a long time. All right. So how do I get, how do we go about buying all these books? All right, you can go to Amazon.com, of course. You can go to Audible.com. You also can uh, get it from me if you like. I will send you a promo code, and you get it from me. It will be cheaper if I send you a promo code because you get a discount. Uh, you can go on Facebook. You um, you can go on Facebook. Yes, of course, you can go on Facebook. Uh, I'll message you the link. I can email you the link, and I can text you the link. It's all about how you want it, and you can download it, and you can listen to it, and you have it in your um whatever forever lifetime okay sounds good all right so we i'm gonna um ask you why you're stepping down this month and what's next on your agenda all right thank you for that yes i'm stepping down because i have other endeavors that i have that i need to conquer and spend more time and value in and uh the reason i told you the why i won't get out there i have a my my show is called the carol show and my motto is your message matter i have two podcasts okay and i run a publishing company carol's publishing company so i have all these things going on so i just want to put more attention on those things and build those things and make it better and also, I, I'm, I'm dealing with uh, a mentor. I have a mentor that I'm dealing with right now. And uh, I'm building my foundation on how to build your business from the ground up mm-hmm. using uh, materials to be successful. Okay, sounds good. It sounds like you got a mouthful of stuff going on. It was just a, it was a lot when you were saying it, so I can only imagine living it. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. All right. It, it, it's it's all about you you know what's your priority. You have to put your priorities in order because if you don't spend, if you got a lot going on, and I know it takes balance. If you got a lot going on, something's gonna go lacking. So yeah. you want to put more attention yeah. on what what you really want to do in life. Mm-hmm. Yep. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And on that note, we are getting ready to go to our jewelry expert, Miss Carstine, and we're going to talk to her right after this commercial break. Been stimulated? Want to learn how to keep stimulating that check? Contact Legacy Services today, where we give you the blueprint to becoming your own boss. 
a start to finish execution plan for the entrepreneur. Call us at 214-774-7503 or visit us online at LegacyServices.com. L-E-G-A-C-I Services.com. Do you have a side hustle? Well, let us show you how to turn it into a legit business. Having problems finding a job you enjoy? We show you how to create your own job. Follow us on all social media platforms, Legacy Services. Do you already have a business, but you're wondering how to grow or expand it? Contact us today for assistance with contract RFPs, grants, and funding, rebranding and image consulting, and strategic planning. Turn your passion into profit with the Business Concierge Legacy Services. Forever love for the moment and all your pain to be broken. See, when I look in that smile, all your beauty is spoken. I love the vibes that you carry. I see the spark of your motion. And when I see that you're down, I put the waves to your ocean. I'll be the first to admit, I know I have a lot of flaws, but nothing you couldn't fix. You're gorgeous. From your mind to your heart, straight to your hips. I want that never-ending ride, so baby, get with the script. We're on a different route. Show me what you're all about. Tears coming from your heart. Shorty, I can cause a drought. See, I ain't with that shit they say. And I can prove it with my mouth. And lately, you've been stuck in stress. But baby, I'm going to pull you out without a doubt. So give me everything, and I promise I'll put your home in the tropics. And maybe one day we'll marry. There ain't a soul that can top you. And if you fall, then I got you. Just know I'm there when you drop it. To change your world and your optics. To change your world and your optics. I go to war, I fight for you. Even when I've left, I do right by you. I'll be your everything, your blue sky, sky, sky. I go to war, fight for you. Even when I'm left, I do right yeah. I'll be your everything, your blue sky, sky, sky. I'll be your everything, or everything I can. To me, you're perfect, ain't a thing that I would ever change. I love your smile, I love your shape, I love your pretty face. Everything about you is enough to go right on my day. We met a year ago, this year was turned my life around. When I was at my lowest, man, I could have picked myself off the ground. You helped me with that, show me that I'm not alone. You know that I'm your cloud and you're my body that cannot be broke. I go to war, fight for you. Even when I'm left, I do right by you. I feel everything, the blue sky, sky, sky. I go to war, I fight for you. Even when I've left, I do right by you. I feel everything, the blue sky, sky, sky. I go to war, I fight for you. Even when I've left, I do right by you. I feel everything, the blue sky, sky, sky. All right, all right, all right. We back, Arlington, Texas. Back. Can't wait to get moving, Miss Miss Carl Steen. Mm -hmm. How you doing, Miss Carl Steen? Doing great, Dr. James and everyone. Well, how was your drive? It was crowded. Was it crowded? Yeah, we had a little traffic issue, but I'm here and happy to be here today. I figured you had a traffic issue. <laughs> I figured you had a traffic issue. You can't issue. not have a traffic <laughs> issue in Dallas. You ain't lying. <laughs> well, let's talk about birthstone. So, what's the birthstone for June? Well, most people would say that it is a pearl, but in actuality, it is the stone Alexandrite. Mm -hmm. But it's such an expensive stone that we've had to have an alternative birthstone for June. Oh, really? So the pearl is the birthstone for June. Now, Alexandrite is a very expensive stone, and one of the reasons is, and they, they come in small uh, carat weights. They right. don't come in large carat weights. But one of the properties of that Alexandrite is that it has the ability to change colors. Right. Depending mm. on how you put it in the light, it 
it can go from a blue to a blue green to a red to to a, a pink. Right. Wow. It just awesome. depends on the Man. light and how it's fractured through that particular stone at that time. That's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. So does C and D use pearls or alexandrite? We do not use alexandrite because, as I said, it's a very expensive stone. And unless you request it, um, we'd have to find it because it's it's pretty rare as well. Right. But we do use pearls. In fact, that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Is it? I like yes. Pearls. Oh man. Yeah. So gemstones. What's the gemstone most frequently used in C and D jewelry? Well, we use multiple gemstones, as you can see, but. What we tend to fashion most of our jewelry uh, with is hematite. Mm -hmm. And hematite is, um, it helps you with your physical and mental calming. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a very soothing stone. It goes well with most things because right. it's a grayish color. And we use a lot of hematite. We use agates which are some of these stones in here, they're agates. Okay. And um, they're plentiful, they come in a variety of colors, and they're not a very expensive stone. So gotcha. we use agates, but they are gemstones, so we still do use them. Well, listen to her gun smoke. Yes. Oh, so yes. so <laughs> what's the power of these gemstones? Oh, there's power in each and every gemstone that we talk about. And for example, um, some of them can provide mental and emotional discipline, uh, such mm -hmm. as the black onyx that uh, we use in some of our creations. Also, the tiger's eye helps you with being responsible, have that self-responsibility, gotcha. which a lot of us are lacking in some ways <laughs> or another. Right. And it helps you to put your actions into thoughts. Right. Mm. So you can okay. wear these jewels, uh, especially once you favorite. know their power. Okay. Especially if you have something in mind that you want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Get the gemstone. Uh, hook, hook me up. I'll call you. you gotcha. Whatever. Right. And we'll get the gemstone for you. And you, we can put it in a creation. Or if you just want to hold the gemstone and just keep it in your hand. Right. And use it that way for its power. You have that ability as well. Gotcha. So, awesome. geode, what is a geode? Okay, I brought some examples of geodes, and geodes are basically cylindrical, rounder rocks, but when you, you break them open, they have crystals on the inside. Okay. And Beautiful. so, Ooh. these crystals... Whoa, that's nice. Well. Um, these crystals, as you can see, come in a variety of oh. colors. Ooh. So it just it depends on <laughs> what you want to... Uh, use with it and they come in different sizes so that's I have nice. very small that's nice. and, it, and it goes to very large so please feel free to look at some of the geos and you can see the actual crystal in it really nice. yeah. mm -hmm. man so like so, so yeah. i guess does cnd jury use geos oh we love using geos as our pendants primarily now i do have some um that are are smaller and we'll get into that and right. how they differ from um, the geodes but um i i really think that they can enhance a, a lovely necklace uh, it just people will say what is that right mm -hmm. you know it, it, it's a conversation piece i love awesome. it i you love would, it well miss carlson you would be impressed to know my team and i have been manifesting using our crystals all right. Yeah, that's, that's All right. Really All right. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. Wonderful. Absolutely. How sweet it is. Yes. We're going to get into our delivery courier expert, Mr. Sonny. We're going to talk about sacrifice. Is it good for business? Ooh. Yes, wow. it's good for business. Uh, first, good evening. And uh, I'm happy to be on the panel. And uh, first, I want to start off by saying to Ms. Carla, who's stepping down, we hate to see you leave, but we love to see you shine. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yes, uh, Amen. Thank, you. thank you, son. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, and it's good. I say sacrifice is good for business because you have to understand that the key thing is you're going into business. So mm -hmm. you know going into business is going to take time with your sacrifice. Right. It's going to take time away from your family, time away from uh, exclusive activities or recreation activities. When you, you know, if you're working, you're going to have to get out working. 
you're going to have to put the time in to invest in. So right. I say it's good for business. So then you can you know, have that moment where I built this and I, I, I like to see where it's going. Things are going good. So you want to continue to go on. So I say it is good for business. Do we really know the price of sacrifice? And I say, do we really know the price of sacrifice? That question came to me and I looked at it, question myself. Anything I give out, I, I always direct it to myself. But I'm going to know to say this to help others. I say, do we know the price of sacrifice? Because we really see, we count the cost, what we're getting into business for to help yeah. our families or our community or whatnot. So when we, we really don't know the price, but we, what it is, when we see the results of it. Right. People come to you and say, hey, I appreciate you. I just, like I told you earlier, I did a job this morning and, and uh, my customer was satisfied. We did less than 30 minutes. You That's got, great, you man. You guys right. bad. And I was like, All hey, right. you know what? It's the time and whatnot. And I think, I'm thankful for that, but it means that you count the cost for it. Miss Helen, do mm -hmm. you know about sacrifice? We like absolutely, to hear about Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I consider raising my kids. I mm. sacrificed my dream for my children. That was a great cost because right. I really feel like I can help uh, with my son. And and I've and, and in doing so, like he says, when you get it right, they come back and let you know. Yeah. And it's and it has been a price to pay to get it to that point. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So uh yeah, sacrifice is, is a big part of becoming uh a business or raising kids. However you can apply sacrifice, you're gonna have to make it. Sweet. Mm -hmm. yes. Sweet. Yes. yes. Let's get into income. Mr. Sonny, do we have more coming in? And it, yeah, I say, do we have more coming in? Our goal is about, you know, if you're willing to sacrifice, if you're willing to invest, or you are you willing to people understand that everybody understand my voice and on the panel can understand it takes money to make, to make money. money. Come on now. So, so how to keep a good balance? How to keep a good balance is, uh, is never lose sight of what you're trying to obtain. Uh, and I, I love that because I know everyone here. I've heard stories and I've seen posts, and I'm so glad to see when people progress and move forward. Absolutely. So that's why keeping a good balance is not is uh embracing the positive, uh fueling off the negative. Right. Right. The right. Stay in the race. Keep All running. Right. That's, that's right. That's, that's right. right. Never stop. Then let's get into fraud. Uh -huh. Why must we practice good business conduct? Because the first impression stinks. That's right. <laughs> That's right. right. That's right. First impression stinks. That's right. So your first impression needs to be strong then. It needs yeah. to be strong. It needs to be firm. And you have to say, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. Yes. All right. Do not like false that. advertise. Yes. yes. I got you. Yes. Why yes. must we be alert and aware of the fraudulent actions and activities? Because continue. And this comes on a personal note that I, uh, I can share. But uh, someone there, you know, became victim of fraudulent activities, mm -hmm. and, and it hurts the consumer. Mm -hmm. Those who, who purchase and, and right. they, yeah. people work hard for their money. And I've been, I've been, uh, I'll use myself as an example. I've been scammed and, and, and whatnot, just trying to, to say I can make this and do this one. But people don't have the outlet that you have. Right. So mm -hmm. you can get upset to what this happened to me. Why people do it? Because the thing about it, much as we want to say. This world has good people and whatnot, but everybody does not walk to the beat of the same drum. Mm -hmm. right. so you have to be right. aware. Mm -hmm. You have to be alert. And uh, mm -hmm. I say, when you learn this comes about, you know, uh, share this. Share right. your, your stories to keep other people aware of it. Be wise I as love serpents it. and gentle as doves. Come I on, love man. it. I love it. Yes. Well, we <laughs> want to slide to Miss Brittany here oh, with contracts. Miss Brittany, how do you get business contracts? Um, well, you really think outside the box, for mm. starters, but... Thanks for asking. Um, you can get government contracts. You can get contracts with the school district, contracts with the state, contract with the county. And you really just go about, first, like I was explaining to Miss Helen, who I just met. <laughs> um, yes. Basically, well, you want to start by having your structure in line. So right. you need to be an LLC or incorporated. You want to make sure that your business is a legit business on paper. Right. So your paperwork has to be in order your business bank account, your EIN number, because that's what's going to open the door for you getting certifications, your minority-owned certifications, your veteran-owned certifications, right. which puts you in a, a greater position to okay. get contracts. What's the benefit of a contract? 
Um, well, the first benefit is you got money coming in that you ain't got to chase down and That's you ain't got to ask nobody for. So That's true. if you ah. get a $100,000 contract right. with the city, the city is saying, hey, we're going to pay you $100,000 to do these consulting services. Okay, cool. Now I'm on city payroll and I don't have to chase down, you know, Sally and Sue and, and Ben for consulting services when I can just go over here and advertise my business, and somebody else is paying me to advertise my business. List mm -hmm. 30's hot so, grits. Like, right, right, list right, 30's right. hot grits. Say the hot right. grits. Oh, no, he got a new one. Like, <laughs> so let's talk about this new dance studio. What's happening with the studio? Uh, we opened, our grant opening was Thursday, June 10th. Okay. Um, we are chamber members, Farmers Branch chamber members, and we did our ribbon cutting. And we opened our brand new studio in Carrollton, Texas. Okay, okay. Um, congratulations. Um, thank you. Yes, yes. congratulations. Um, we're doing our, of course, the plus um, Curry Queens plus size dance team will be housed out of the studio. I'll be teaching my fitness classes out of the studio. We have classes for all ages, from older adults to kids. We'll right. have three children's dance teams, a hip-hop team, a jazz and tap team as well as a dance and cheer team. Okay. Um, so we're also almost making it an incubator space for other businesses. So if you are if you have a small business and you're looking for an office to rent out, right. we'll have that available as well, um, along with the talent agency that we're starting. So we'll, people who want to get in the That's industry, yeah. we'll be housing our talent agency out of the space. So the space is like... Like, we're going to do everything out of this space. It, like, what, what y'all want to do? We got it. Multi-purpose. <laughs> well, see, uh, so now you was going through the services offered, right? Uh-huh. But you said pretty much everything. Yep, we're doing our my consulting business, Legacy Services. Um, we're, I consult with small businesses, how to get your business started. Um, like I said, we're partnered with the Chamber of Commerce in Carrollton, so we'll be doing a lot of work with the chamber, like okay. we have our nonprofit so sector where we do humanitarian programs, we feed the homeless, we do back okay. to school drives. All of that will be housed out of this space. Um, okay. the talent agency, awesome. everything. Let's get into the new business launch. Uh, what's a talent agency and why start one? Um, so a talent agency is basically, I am a representation for those that want to get in the entertainment industry. Got you. So whether you're an actor, singer, model, dancer, seamstress, makeup artist, you'd be surprised what the entertainment world they look for. Right. Mm -hmm. And try, a lot of times people don't know how to use their gifts and their talents and get paid for it. Mm -hmm. So as a dancer, I did a commercial back in January, mm -hmm. and I'm still getting the residual checks from that commercial. That, that's so far, I'm up to $30,000. So I worked awesome. one day, and I was paid $30,000 because awesome. of my awesome. gift. Awesome. So we're in the industry where we're trying to teach people how to use your gift and put you in a position where you can get paid good, you know, a, a decent livable wage for your gift. Right. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So that's why, and it, but a lot of times it's hard to get in talent agencies mm -hmm. because they, if you don't have the experience, it's like, okay, where do I start? Who do I know? What, how do I get on? You see people who never acted before and they get a big break in a movie. That's because of a talent agency that allowed them to come into the agency. So right. we had decided to start an agency here in Texas because they do a lot of filming in Austin, right. but there aren't very many agencies in the Ten state. Seven. Got you. So that's why mm -hmm. we're here. So mm -hmm. informational session dates and other details. So you can, if you're interested in being a part of the agency, if you're interested in getting in the entertainment field, whether you do wardrobe work, they're looking for wardrobe people, they look for set designers, mm -hmm. they look for makeup artists, hairstylists. There are so many ways. You don't even have to be on the camera right. to get paid in the industry. Mm -hmm. So I have access to all of this work that's available, and we need people. Like We need talented people, it doesn't matter your race, creed, culture, religion. Uh, background, sexuality, age, none of that right. matters because right. they'll tell you there there was a, a job I saw where they were looking for a woman between the ages of 40 to 50 that had tattoos. Gotcha. Mm. Because she was going to be playing a role in a prison. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So there's, saying. there's work for everybody. Kids, Absolutely. adults, anybody. Absolutely. Awesome. And basically we're doing our informational session um, June 23rd. Mm -hmm. That is a Wednesday from 6 to 9. Um, you come get information, get on contract, get set up with our agency so we can represent you. Agents are allowed to negotiate your contracts for you. So okay. if you get a big break in a TV show, you might do the first season of the show and your character is the favorite character on the show. Right. But they may not want to offer you 
enough money versus what you could be making. So as an agent, I can negotiate your contract and say, hey, well, they did really good on the first season. Let's put them on four seasons, you know, that and that good. keeps you money flowing in and keeps the residuals coming in. That so sounds good. That's what agents are here for. That is awesome. So I think uh, you and Miss Carol both know that uh, obviously when you get a, a paying customer and they pay a certain amount, mm -hmm. you know that I'll hook you up with something to uh, gift these people uh -huh. to, to kind of say thank you. Uh -huh. Mr. Sonny told me about he did a job. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Sonny, I'm gonna have to ask: uh, Was was the payment north of north of a couple of hundred dollars? Oh, it's more. Okay, Absolutely. so okay. I am gonna right. offer you an uh, a thank you gift to give to to your customer as a thank you because why? We're partners and we're partners. working together. <laughs> and Miss Carlstein, same thing. You you know we talked about it before, Mr. Don, right? And so the key here is same thing. I actually started calling those people, but then some stuff changed, and then we had to kind of pause. You still have that option. Miss Helen, it's your first time hearing it. Yes. So you get some jobs uh, that's, that's 200 and over, and you have access to me giving you nice gifts uh, anytime you need it to give to a customer as a thank you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So having said that, guys, this is was a wonderful show. Yes, thank you guys for being here. Uh, this is the end, and thank you for tuning in to Dr. James McConnell's The Small Business Network. <laughs>